Right, next level of this nonsense is the. <laughs> I think I've made a little bit of progress. So, um, <laughs> this mess of stuff in here. The. Okay, so first of all, it's still in reverse, but these guys are being being welded together as before. Nothing has changed here particularly, and they get welded together there. And they're now welded together by this stack here to hold them all into one big. So these bits are all joined together. In the meantime, we've got the redirection going on because of the sensor in the same place. Well. So nothing's changed here particularly. These bits have come together. However, as it comes up to here, is it actually welding in the right place? I'm not sure it is, you know. No, it's welding in the wrong spot. I need to move these welders forward, but I'm. Oh no, it's too high! Damn it! I thought I was making progress there. Um, I was welding because they came across here, but it's not quite right. Ugh, so much for that idea. Back to the drawing board. Oh, is it going to work? Okay. It's around the wrong way, but it's now carrying this forward. It's going to be hard to rotate this, but I think we can do it. Um, the other problem here is that as this moves away, we're going to lose the sensor contact, which is keeping the redirector running. So we need another sensor here which is keeping the sick actually that's that's pretty close if I put one here hold on if I put a sensor here that should be running long enough or is that going to cause problems for the second run let's have a see hold on hold on so this lot comes through redirecting 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 moving away from the sensor Need another sensor over here, really. But what I'm okay. So this has gone the wrong way. But I'm also worried about maintaining contact with these sensors is going to mess up what the second run. So I'm. Uh, it's it's progressing, but it's not quite there. But it's yeah, it's getting there. It's getting there. Getting there. Getting there. Okay, more progress has been made. I've shifted. I, I thought I needed more room for the reorganisation. So you know how I moved all this lot so far forward? I've now moved it all back again to give myself more room for the rotation. I was running out of room down here. But essentially, I think if I've got it all right, the second, the last part is going wrong, but we're going to fix that in a second. So this is the first side piece coming along. It gets welded. This is, the, this is correct, isn't it? Yeah, it is correct for that. It gets along to here. Rotator spins it once, wait a bit a second, second time. Right, so at this point here, we're now waiting. I'm going to have to flip this bloody thing as well, aren't I? <clears throat> so, I need... I'm failing the redirection at this point here. So I need a sensor. What... I need to, to have a sensor triggering the... The redirector. Oops! Don't flip the camera at that point there. I was I was drinking my coffee and then bumped the mouse. <laughs> I want to know when. So this is the point where it goes wrong here. Did this sensor actually do anything? I don't think it is. You know. Maybe this sensor needs to be working here. Okay, if I take this one out and put it here. No, not that. That! I press the middle mouse button to do it. It doesn't always do it. It's the problem. Is that going to... Oh, something fell down there. Hold on. There we go. They've got to be self-supported. There's, gra there's gravity involved in the game. I've got to have support it. So that's... Okay, that's triggering the... Um, the redirector. 
Good, 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 good. So it's... Ah! It missed it. I was hoping it was going to be self-sustaining. Uh, what if we put the sensor here instead and above? How about... But I don't want it to be rumbling so long that it affects the second run. Of stuff coming through. So let's take this one out. I don't think that's going to clash with anything. Right, let's see if this keeps it running and then doesn't cause a problem for the second run. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Here's back up the second piece coming through. No. Why is it pulling back there? I mean, it should be being triggered by this. Or is there a gap? It's on, it's on. Does the sensor really need to be here? Wow, okay. I'm kind of surprised by that, but okay. If I'm running out of room to put this sensor, it's going to start clashing with the redirection system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out of the way! No! Oh, bugger! It's gone that. Oh. Um. Okay, if I can't use this, then what can I use? For the redirection. Some. I mean, this thing's being manipulated, so I don't think I can use that to. That's the point when it goes wrong there. We can have a sensor here. I feel like I've done this before. I think I'm repeating myself, you know. It happens when you get old, you know. You start to repeat yourself. What I'm worried about, I think I'm actually going to cause this to... to trip the next piece off there, that's the problem. I am! This next piece is going to go off in the wrong direction. Bum holes. Uh, what else can I do then that will mean that I'm not... I'm in the same sort of position I was in the last game, wasn't I? The last level where I was having a problem with the timing of the redirections. And I need... Oh, I need this not to fall down. Crudely stuck it back in. Uh, hmm, I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh, it's so close now. I can, oh, I can, I can almost smell it. Uh, ignore this mess for a minute. What? So what happened? What's changed over here? I, I'm not able to get the timing right as I currently am here with. With the way that the 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 long pieces, the long sides of the of the the satellite are coming through, I'm trying to use those to kick off the this piece here. For, okay, first of all, the bit where this bit came alongside this bit and got welded together and sort of carried the two pieces away together, it's not working. Okay, so I've scrapped that idea for now. Okay, well, kind of. Um, the first piece that comes through one side here does not get welded to. Uh, the main middle middle part of the satellite. Okay, here comes the main part of the satellite. Here it goes off to the side. It just cruises all the way past. Okay, and it's the second piece is being is the bit that's getting welded to this one. See, they're welded together now, and that's being done by basically a sensor over here kicking the the unit off of, um, there's a piston down here, gives it a little kick forward to move this off and bind it together. And it seems to be that the, the, the cycle is okay. We're getting, we're back to starting again of the cycle and the new bits are coming through. Okay, I think this will be fine. This will be running up here. The problem that I have now is how I weld this loose piece here to these two pieces here. Okay, 
Now, I tried rotating this and then rot rotating that alongside. It wasn't really working. Um, it's the usual problem of the welders, which is why I've now got this stupid mass of welders up here. Um, as let's go, let's restart this. As this first piece comes through, hold on. Yeah, it end because of the way the conveyor belts work. Oh, I've just thought of an idea actually. Um, I have to push this back this way. Maybe, do, maybe I don't need to. At the moment, I'm, I'm having to push this this thing back this way a little bit, so it lines up with the rest of the um, the piece coming off. God, they're close to each other. Look at this. Um, this gets stopped by the conveyor belt that's actually carried this across. But maybe I can use top-down conveyor belts to carry that across. I don't know. I think it will fall, though. Maybe lifting units. Oh, it gets so complicated. But essentially, I'm at the moment, I'm trying to get these welders to line up. So this one of these beams has got to pass through here and here. Although maybe I'm making it needlessly complicated. I probably am. What I could possibly do is change it so these welders are over here, along this side here, and then we're going to feed it out here and spin it around. It's going to be very tight for space, but I think I can do it. Right, let me try that next. Get these welders off of here. Have I told you how much I hate rotators? I haven't. Well, let me tell you now. I hate rotators. <laughs> just the way that they... The things they clash with, it's just so oh, God damn frustrating. Right, this is not the solution, okay? It's nearly a solution. Right, this awful mess over here. And I think I have a way to make it better, but I have to, I have to restart completely. I think I can fix this, and I think I have a way of possibly making it work a lot better, but I'll come back to that in a minute. Right. Oh, my God. Right, okay. So the problem lies still with the, the second run. Okay, that doesn't work. I can make it work once. I can't make it work twice. Okay, let's go back actually. I've gone too far. Okay, as before, the first the first um, piece coming out, the first side piece coming out goes over here. It triggers the progression of this and locking these together. Then what happens to it is it gets flipped around a couple of times and set in place ready to go. And then this one does a couple of flips and they get joined together here and they get pushed off to the end. Congratulations. However, over here is not working. And the reason is... What? What is the reason? I guess I must be triggering this more than once. This this thing here that pushes out. Like, that's the problem. Okay. So I'm going to fix that so we can work properly. What the... The way I think I would solve this properly would be an initial error, which is how this goes through to here. Notice they allow us more time to do this. I think that I need to simply spin this around so that it goes in the other way around. As simple as that. In fact, let's try and do that now. Okay, this should work. Hold on. Now, what does that mean over here for this? Let's have a look. Shouldn't that make a difference? Okay. So, what then comes through the other side is, unsurprisingly, almost exactly the same thing. But the rotation is not required. Thought as much. Okay, um, and that is already lined up to correctly to go through here. 
I think I'm now going to work with this solution, possibly. I don't know. I might go back and fix the other one. I might just fix this one. This takes away the whole... Of the, 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 this takes away the whole of the rotation issue here. Okay? Because I couldn't weld it together and then rotate it. I've rotated it and then disassembled it for welding back together again. So I think this is the way to go with it. I think this will get rid of this, and then it's a matter of how I weld those three parts back together and just feed them off would be the answer. And that might be an easier solution. So I'm going to go with that. Well, I was kind of hoping that I would have two solutions for you by the end of this. Also, by the way, I hope you don't mind this is two videos. Usually I try to put the the, the solution across one video, but it's it, because of how I've done this one with the, the more nitty-gritty of seeing it from scratch with you, watching bits as I as I've tried to solve it, it which means it takes longer. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, I've already wanted two solutions, and the two solutions, the last thing I left you with was probably me talking about how I feed the the device into here, and the, the idea of the rotation. Now, I think the rotation is still a good idea. The fact of getting having this thing going through in the correct orientation, or rather, in the rot the rotation is done here, rather than messing around about rotating the result so it fits into here. Okay, I'm sure that's the right answer. However, I simply have not been able to do it, and I'm not really sure why. It gets to the point where the, the clash occurs. I can't even show you what I've done, actually, because I've taken it apart and rebuilt it so many times. It's, it's a mess, and I've had enough, is what I've had. Um, it, it runs into problems on the second run. Okay, so it takes a bit too long for everything to go through, and the second set of of the middle piece of the satellite coming through butts up against the ends of these coming through, and it it shoves them next to each other into a continuous line rather than coming through in nice discrete pairs, and it ruins the welding system here. Okay, now the answer to this is one I'm not willing to concede which is that if you slow down the cycles, if you look on the bottom right of the screen, it says input rate, you can slow down, like that, how quickly the satellite, or the, whatever your, your is coming out of the production system, goes through the system. You can slow it down to to make it easier to have a solution. I, I find that a complete anathema. If I have to do that, I consider it a failure. And that is the wrong way to look at it, but I can't help it, I'm sorry. It, it, this is like this is like normal level that the game has set for us. You can run it faster if you want to. You can run them out faster if you if you really feel like it. One second, there you go. I can run it four times the speed or whatever. Not even four times the speed, but it's just faster. How quickly this stuff comes through. That's how you get the really really good scores if you want them. To go below the standard level, and the, there is a solution for this. There are various solutions for this. I would feel a failure. And I wouldn't want to put it on. A recording as an answer okay but I think having said that it might actually I don't know how that would work out with a score because if I don't slow it down very slightly but then had a super efficient solution where this was flipped around the other side maybe it would be a better score in the end I don't know how that works because the cycles would be slower but the number of blocks I don't know the point is I don't want to do it okay I think it's what I'll need to do to do uh, the solution that has the rotation on the other side of the teleporter. Okay, that gabbling finished. We're back to the original one you've seen most of the construction of. And I've basically, I've trimmed, I've slimmed it all down as much as I can, but this is now the solution that appears to work. And it works repeatedly. It's not a degenerate solution. So, it should, it was actually yesterday that I was last recording this, but it should all work. Fine, fine as far as it goes. What has changed over here? Nothing very much, I don't think, as far as that. There's the double flip of this one. Last set of welders here. Again, I would like to have assembled this and then had a single rotation for the entire piece. It doesn't work. But there you go. The second piece is coming through. There we go. Boom, 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 boom. It's repeatable. It's not degenerate. It works. Okay. Am I happy with it? I don't, don't probably not know really. I, it works. That's in, sometimes I get to the point where it works, and I will come back. I think sometimes my my view is contaminated of the solution for something, and if I if I come back to it too soon, I end up doing the same 
answers and the same mistakes. Whereas if I come back to it in the future, I would have a different result because I'm thinking about it in a different way. You know? That's that's what I feel, uh, if I don't remember much of it. So maybe I'll come back in the future and solve this properly. Or Fodder will simply tell me the best way to do it. Because he's been, he's, done, he's done all these levels before. Uh, but there you go. I, I don't know. But the it's okay. And again, I'm sure I will have the usual roughly average score. You know, that's what usually happens. And also, I don't... There we go. I'm always at this point here, pretty much. I don't know... <laughs> Oh, and again, you're usually really good with the block score. I think it just I just tidy things up when other people don't. But this is there's lots of people far far better than me on this. I I kind of want to know what these are, and I kind of don't want to, because I think they would make me a bit depressed about how bad I'm. This. I'm a I'm a very mundane thinker in how I think of these think of these things. I don't have any exceptional insight into how to solve these best and I, and I think I'd be depressed if I saw this I'm kind of tempted though to see what one of these solutions are but I don't know, I don't know maybe I could, maybe actually this one could run slightly faster but either way yeah, I, I finished it anyway, I think we've got one more one more to solve before then onto the new levels okay, um, which is onto here and here I think are the last two groups of levels, the last two twenty or so puzzles or whatever it is. So we're not going to look at this one. We're not even going to look at it. We're going to keep it as a nice surprise. Um, I might have a look myself actually in a minute, but you're not going to get to see it until the next video. Okay? So you've got to go and pack it out. Yeah? Or else. Right. I hope you, I hope you enjoyed this, these two videos. And if you did, I'll see you again next time. <laughs>